kind of reinforcement because if you put a lot of pressure with the vise on the form where there is no block holding it in place, you'll just squish it on an angle. So I've got one spot right here. There's looks like a pretty decent uh, block. Should be all right. That's good. Okay, so I'm happy with that. With my veneers, usually I do three, but today I'll be doing two. I'm gonna actually take this out. I just know it sits nicely, so that's good. Put it to the side. And I've got the fur for the inside that you will not see. I've got this uh, African uh, mahogany. Or it's actually not mahogany, it looks just like mahogany. I've been calling it mahogany for years, but it's something else. So, normally I would take this and I'd run it to the table saw because uh, we don't have a table saw at our disposal. We'll have to use a razor blade. Grab the razor blade. And my sides, if I measure them, are four and three eighths. Four and three eighths. So, start off by taking a true edge. This one's pretty straight, so I'm gonna just use this as a, as a nice straight line. Four and three eighths here, and four and three eighths here. And you can clamp it down if you want, or you can just hold it in place. You can also draw a pencil line that way. If your razor blade deviates from where it's supposed to be going, you can see every once in a while when you're cutting with a ruler, it'll slide a little bit. Don't cut your fingertips with the ruler, that hurts. Been there, done that. I hate it. I don't want you guys to suffer. So there's one, four and three eighths. And I think I'll just trim them all. Same thing, four and three eighths. Most important thing at this point is, is uh, the width. And again, if you want to take that pencil line and draw it just to play it safe. See, I follow the green. Sometimes I'll use scissors as well, but nothing like a nice sharp razor blade. And is there one side that's better? That side's kind of cracked, but I'll still be able to use it. We'll cut this one up for now. Even though it's just a quarter inch overlapping, I'm still going to trim it. It'll make my life so much easier. If I do. This guy's quite long. I won't need all of it. We'll use these two for the inside of this side, and I'll start off by fitting with the rim in the form. So I'll put this back in place now. Get clamped nicely. That's pretty nice. I like it. Okay. Put this in place here. For this, but I'll just use this one here. I'm going to make sure that my heel block is flush at the soundboard side with the side of the mold. So, in this case, this is my back side right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. This is my soundboard side. I'm going to make sure that it's flush and true with this mold and it looks good. I've got my center line centered nicely should come up like a 30 second of an inch. Now it looks like it's perfect. That's good. Fairly happy with that. I'll get this clamp a little bit out of the way. Now, when you're laminating, you don't want to uh, put another clamp over here. Like imagine let's clamp it over here, except it's a little bit off. We're gonna be putting a lot of tension on it. You can damage your side. So I'll always start gluing at the toe block, 
Tokyo block side in the upper boat, and I'll go down to the butt end of the guitar. The other thing is if you look inside the sound hole and you look at your laminations, you will see the, the joins on the side of the toe block, but you won't see them in the end block. So worry more about your, your upper boat than your lower boat. And I'm going to take my chisel here, just scrape off some of that glue squeeze out. That was a little messy. Very good. It's lovely. Next thing is getting this trimmed to the appropriate length. This looks very square. So I am just going to grab my machine square and we'll see if it is actually square. Oh, look at that. It's kind of square. Not perfectly square. Joel, how's it going, man? Good, how are you doing? Good. This is Joel. If you need your John Deere's uh, repaired or served, he can hook you up with the right people. <coughs> just a word from our, quick uh, from our sponsor here. Uh, Garden Valley uh, Equipment. Green Valley. Green Valley Equipment. <laughs> well, thank you for being part of the John Deere family. Remember to have your tractor serviced in Winkler, Manitoba. Nothing runs like a deer. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what do you think, man? Pretty good. The uh, action outside. Do you see that? What's going on? The neighbor, uh, well, this is. Hey, how's it going? For you to turn off your main. Turn off the main? 